what was high school like for you? Uh, I didn't really like high school, bro. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really like high school. I didn't like junior high. Nobody really f with me like that. I was different always. And you went to, what, what high school did you go to? I went to Southgate High School. We, I didn't go to Compton because my mom didn't like the schools over there. So she used to drive us every day. You okay. Know? You graduate? Yeah, I graduated. And I went to college. Oh, okay. And I graduated from college. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I read a lot of books. I like to, I'm, 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 even though, like, I'm a little crazy, I'm, I'm also a little smart. You can, you might not see it, it might not show sometimes, but I, I am a little smart. <laughs> no, that's what's up. That's good you know? shit. You know what I'm saying? Going to college and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Getting all that. I mean, yeah. I was going What'd to, you go to college for? I went to college to be a, a teacher. Okay. So I was a preschool teacher. So I got an associate's degree in that. But I should have went into business because i always been like, before I used to always be in businesses, but it was in legal businesses. And so I should have went into that. You know what I'm saying? Into business. But I took, because I love kids, bro. So I, I, I worked with kids for a long time. I worked with special needs kids. And then I went into the regular kids as a teacher. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I At what age did you move to South Central though? 19. 19. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you move to South Central, mm -hmm. and this is where you move in your neighborhood, mm -hmm. I take it? Yeah. And you start meeting all your homies and everything? Yeah, my homies. You okay. know what I'm saying? Chilling with them. They really the ones who, like, I, I went into that that game because, I, you know, I went into the, the street life because I was already, I seen it, but I joined a black gang. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel more comfortable being with them. You know what I'm saying? Because people are like, oh, why are you not with, I don't know. It's just, I gravitated towards them. Oh, why are you trying to be black? I'm not being, I'm, I'm trying, this is who I am. I'm not being nobody else. This is who I am. I'm Lupe, bro. This is the people I be around with, with all the time. And of course, we're all going to act kind of the same, bro. I'm going to pick up what they be doing, the way they be at, you know, I'm going to do the same thing they do or try to do it more because I got to prove myself because I'm Mexican, bro. So it's like me, I've always been me versus me type shit. So if you know what I mean. No, no, I hear you. I hear you. Did you feel like... Like, did you, I feel different? You said, no, you said you felt more comfortable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Did you... At one point, were you ever hanging around, like, a lot of uh, Mexican gangs? At well, I grew, up, I, I grew up in a, a, with the Mexican gangs. The CGs where I grew up at. That's, okay. They know me. I know them. And you never wanted to be from there? No, I well, no, because I don't know. I never wanted to be from the, their hood, bro. I go to the hood. I just went. I was just there. That we're family. My cousin, we got, we got, we got. Um, my cousin has kids from their hood, so we're always gonna be intermingling with each other. I just didn't want to be from a Mexican gang. I just, I don't know. I just went into a black gang, bro. You know? Okay, so so you go to uh, your neighborhood and you move there. And and you start hanging with the homies and everything. And I know you you know your family is you know your immediate family anyway is is not involved in the streets mm -mm. or involved in gangs. So how did they take it oh, when man. they found out you were involved? Well, my dad was talk. My dad was in going in on me, like my dad didn't like nonstop the whole time. He still be going in on me like he doesn't like. They don't, my dad kind of accepted it now because he see me going viral with CMAC. But it wasn't like he wasn't never accepted it ever. You know what I'm saying? But now he accepts it. My mom knows all my homies. My sister and my family knows all my homies, bro. You know what I'm saying? They just, it was my dad who really was the one that was like, you know, he's a, he's a, he just, he's like a macho man, like a, I don't know, like a machista. You know what I'm saying? So like he didn't really accept that. And then he probably didn't accept that I had, you know, in the beginning that I was dating a black guy. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I date. I don't date, I don't date no other race. I haven't been with no other race. So, I, you know, I haven't been, you know, it's just I feel more comfortable with my folks, bro. It's just, I don't even know how to explain it. We're just like family. Like, I, they never treated me dif different. They never, they never said anything about being me Mexican. The only thing that they did do that I, I noticed that I had an accent. I didn't, ha I didn't know I had an accent. So I started hanging out with my homies. And they started imitating me. I'm like, I don't talk like that. <laughs> yes, you do, bro. I'm like, oh, shit. So they, like, then I knew I had an accent. I didn't know. I okay. thought I talked perfect English like a white girl. <laughs> 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 then I started hanging out with my homies. I was like, oh, shit. I do sound like that, bro. I, I, what's, that, what's that little rat? Uh, the one that be running fast? 
Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, okay. You know, Speedy Gonzalez, that cartoon, I sound like yeah. him. But I don't say Andela, Andela, Arriba, Arriba, but I do sound like him. Now that I think about it, you know, at first I didn't know I had an accent, bro. Mm. Do you think I got an accent? Yes. What? Is it strong? I can definitely tell you're Mexican. <laughs> I can, I can tell you're Mexican. I can tell you that. Bro! <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not, you know, and I'm not embarrassed. I'm, I love my Mexican folks. I love my culture, bro. I I love everything about us, bro. We're like family oriented. You know, we, we're about our money. We hustle. We 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 try to be loyal. We try to be like, try to be a team when we do things as a team. And that's what I'm doing now. Like, I want to be a team. It's not, it's not an I, you know, I'm doing, I, I want to do things as a team, bro. And that's what I'm doing, bro. You know, like that's the, that's what I'm bringing in, my, like my culture, with my folks, and we're blending it together. And that's how we get. That's how we're going, and we're gonna go far. You know what I'm saying? Because it's two different cultures combining, and it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's different, and people start seeing that it's different. Two different types of people is gonna is the people are gonna gravitate towards us. You know what I'm saying? Because they see it's two different types of hustles combining in one. You know what I'm saying? That's what people like. You know, I'm a little funny. I, I be cracking jokes here and there, you know. When I'm with C-Mac, when I'm with my homies, I'm always cracking jokes. Always, I've always been funny. In my house, my dad grew, grew up, we grew up um, getting roasted by my dad every day. Okay. So- <laughs> you, grew up, you grew up in a, in a family where, you know, jokes for all the time. All the time. My dad was a nut. My dad is so fucking funny, bro. Like, I can't even. He's hilarious, you know. So, like, he be saying all kinds of shit. So, I grew up in that type of in my environment with my dad. That, and always, like, my dad always said, oh, I almost kicked somebody's ass today. Like, every day he say the same thing. So, then I was like, okay, that's how you're supposed to be in the streets, too. Like, you, you're not supposed to let yourself, you know? So, that's how I, like, that's my, my dad didn't like that. I used to fight all the time. But it's like, he doesn't know that he, inst- he instilled that in me the way he talked as a kid, as me growing up. Like, uh, you know, my dad's not a punk. You think I'll be a punk? You probably if your dad's not a punk, you're probably okay. Not a punk. So all right, and then he'd be like, "Oh, porque this is, why are you fighting?" Well, hello, I'm I'm your daughter, bro. You know, I'm your daughter. I'm like I don't fall too far from his tree, you know. And I grew up just like him. Like I'm the I'm like out of all my dad's kids, I'm the one that's almost like him. So your dad's kind of kind of wild then too. When he was younger, yeah. Okay. Like with the fighting and all that shit. 